All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I am doing my Project 50 Pan No Buy Project Pan. For those of you who are new here, the project is I'm trying to use up 50 products from my inflated categories. Once I use up 50 products, then I can go ahead and buy one new thing from that project or from those categories, from a category that is inflated, not each a thing from each category that's inflated. And yeah, so I'm on basically on a no buy. And then once I buy that new thing, I'll do a no buy from for everything else, go back into another no buy. And I think the ne next project will be a hundred items, which will be really exciting, hard and really fun. Um, this has taken me, is taking me two years plus because I'm not done yet, but yeah, it's taking me a while, but I'm still excited and I do love it because I don't need to be buying as much and it's helped. Anywho, so as of last month, I had 42 products that I had used up. This month I have 43, which means I used up one thing. However, this thing was not the thing in the project, but a thing in another project, which is my Almay Trio. And just so you know, if I use up like a palette, because I have my pan that palette, so I don't put my pan that palette stuff in here, because um, I have it has its own video. But if I use up another, like a palette, that's huge. I'm gonna put it in this product project as like a thing that I've used up because it's in an inflated category. It just has its own like video, dedicated video. Anyways, yes, use it up. 43 products, we only have seven more to go. Can you believe it? Um, I can't and I'm excited for it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be buying. It's not like I have like one thing that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to buy. But I think it'll be like an interesting, fun, like little reward thing to see where I'm going, what I'm doing. And um, I'm also dedicated to buying from a black owned beauty brand. And I'm just freaking excited for that because um, my, you know, collection is a lot older and a lot, when I was buying, I was much less aware of everything. So yeah, it's definitely not aged well, as as they say. Um, not that the products, products are fine, they're working fine. But uh, yeah, the collection of what it looks like and the people who I bought for, from were not a ideal in, in my um, book today. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started on the rest of the project update. The first thing is normally a thing that doesn't have much progress, much changes. It's kind of boring to update. Every time I kind of just say, this is still in the product project, nothing much has changed. This time around, uh, things are gonna change a little bit. And this is my MAC sample pigment. And this is a pigment that I don't really know what the name of it is got it like randomly from a friend's sister who used to work at mac and yeah it's this whole thing but so yeah it's just a brown pigment that i don't really know but look at it it's almost gone what is it no it's not almost gone um i actually repressed it into my mac quad that is in my pan palette it is right here so this is where we're at ish but then there is still a little bit in here i'm using it to help deepen out my outer corner and using it on my lash line to deepen out my lash line as well I'm liking it. I do have to use it sparingly or like on days that it's not going to go crazy wild. Um, AKA for those of you who know, I work freelance and my freelance days when I have those days, they're like 16 hour days. Um, and they're like out on, you know, a location where I'm not able to like check my makeup all the time. So if I have fallout, it stays there, it gets smudged, I get sweaty, it's nasty. So I tend to try to not use products that are gonna like not hold up well on those certain days, which is fine. Um, it just means that I'm not gonna get as much progress as I would like. That being said, I do still line my lash line with it, with these. Um, it's just the darkening the outer corner I'm not quite doing, um, which is what uses my, um, uses the product up so much. Anywho. <laughs> We're working on it. It's definitely a lot more than what I had been doing. Mainly, I got really tired. If you see, these are all the products that I've used up that I've been in the project and used up. The only thing that's not crossed out on this first page is that dang MAC sample pigment. I'm so tired of having this update where I have this and then I have to flip just because of one product. So now I have all these products. Okay, anyway, so that's that. That's where we're at. We'll see what happens next month, how much progress we can made, make. No matter what, it's definitely more progress than I have had been making because it was like maybe once I was using it, maybe twice I was using it. No, this time I've been using it basically every, in some amount, every time I've been doing my makeup since I used up that darker shade um, that I was using that for the job that it has now. Oh my gosh, words are so hard today. Anyways, so next we'll do my Too Faced bronzer. Still liking it. Don't support Too Faced anymore, but you know. 
um, progress is, is, is progressing. So yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a hot, hot minute. Next is my black eyeliner by Jessica Libenskine, vintage black eyeliner. And here we go. I did say whenever we get into like this part of it, we're going to be, um, bringing in another eyeliner that's like navy blue. I really like this. It's very creamy. I use it on my top lash line. It does smudge up. So this is another thing that I don't really use on my 16 hour days. Um, I have been using like my dark powder to kind of like, um, set it on those, like trying to see if it doesn't smudge as much and it helps, but on the 16 hour days, I'm still not going to use it. That being said, this is the progress that we have. It's the orange bit. So not much. Obviously I, um, I use it, but not enough to make a ton, a ton of progress and I'm okay with it. I, it's a black eyeliner. It's doing its thing. Um, I have more black eyeliners and dark blue eyeliners that I want to get to, but for now it is what it is and it's fine with me. The next thing, well, let's just go through what's on this page. The next thing I have is my Bite Beauty lipstick and chai. This is what we have left in here. Um, it's kind of, it's definitely emollient where it's like starting to kind of tilt this way a little bit. So I am very careful about it. Um, wearing it today. I love this lipstick. I love this color. I love the creaminess of it. It's really great. This is how much I've used of it right here. Um, this is actually quite a lot, I think, in my book. So really, really cool. Uh, I think a lot of progress was made on that. And yeah, I only use it once a day. I use it right before I, you know, go to work or whatever. I mean, I think maybe I might touch up every now and then, like if I'm at home or something or about to go out. But typically, if I'm, I just use it the once, once a day. Because again, if I'm at my 16 hour job, I just don't have time to touch up my makeup. Not to mention, we're wearing masks. So, um, the next thing I have is my MAC eyeliner or lip liner in Nice and Spicy. This is where we are right now. You can't really tell how much I've used up, but I've used up, well, kind of. I've used up quite a bit, or there's a lot of progress considering. However, this is older this pencil's a little bit older so as i'm sharpening it sometimes it, it gets a little crumbly in areas so it's getting to use up more quickly because it's breaking um but other times like right now it's uh you know right now it's pretty good so i'll use it until i need to sharpen it again mm, we'll see how the next bit sharpens so it's kind of unpredictable in terms of how much i'm using like that progress was not necessarily because i used it all that much it was oh, some of it was because of like the construction of it was kind of falling apart a little okay next i have my benefit lip gloss and i think it was last time was the first time i brought it into the project i was using it a little bit before i don't know it's a little mini and it looks like this i mean it's definitely getting thinner through here i'm not really sure i mean i'll be able to you know really show you guys the progress and everything once i like be, get it to where i can like squeeze the bottom which i guess i can't can a little bit but I don't want to start marking it quite yet because I think that there's still some room to like play with it. Um, but yeah, so still using it, you know, whenever I do my do my first round of lip products, it's what I use. I really like it. It's really beautiful, really um, comfortable to wear, and it goes well with all the other lip, gloss, uh, lip products that I'm using. Next is my Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills. This is repressed, normally has like that pinwheel effect. I mixed all the colors. This is the repressed version. And here we go. This part was is put in a Franken blush that I will talk about a little bit later. And this is the area that is to watch for that should have pant expansion, but just a little bit because I literally only use it on my inner corner, um, just like a little tippy tap, <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I will use it as a regular highlighter once my highlighter from my Pan That Palette series is used up but for now it's just on my inner corner so not much progress to happen and i'm fine with that next is my benefit blush benefit blush ha aka my like franken it's benefit blush with a little bit of over highlighter this is where we're at um still love it a few i mean because i'm an awful repressor a <laughs> uh, few little extra dots happening um love this blush i freaking love it i just love that it like works so well together like part of the Ofra highlighter, part of the um, Benefit. It's just great. I love it. I love it. 
Okay, and then next I have my Beaches and Cream Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream little single eyeshadow. It is right here. Um, still using it every day to set my eyeshadow primer. I really like it. And it's doing its job what it is. It's doing its job well. So not sure. Again, haven't taken pictures. Haven't looked back at the pictures. So, I mean, you'll see the progress more than I will. Or than I know if there's progress or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Next, I have my Franken Cream Blush. I'm not really sure how to show progress on this other than just showing it, but here we go, using it every day. And again, this is something else that I'm really enjoying. Um, it's a bunch of lipsticks smushed together um, with a cream highlighter and smushed together as well. And there we go. I would like to finish this before the end of the year. Not sure if that's gonna happen, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be done. Oh, there's like a little hole in there. I'm really hoping that this actually, like there's some air in here to where I, when I put it in, it didn't like fill it all the way. That's what, it, that would be wonderful because I do want to finish this by the end of the year because I don't want to waste product. Um, not that, I mean, you know, it's an experiment. Obviously if I wanted to finish this, well, if I get to the end of the year and I haven't finished it, now I know that if I want to finish a cream blush in one year, um, not to fill up this whole pot, <laughs> you know, maybe fill it halfway and then see what happens. Okay, next is this liquid highlighter from Becca in um, Prosecco Pop. Last time I said I did not know where this product was in terms of in the bottle, like how much I had used up and how much I didn't. I'm not sure if you can see, but it looks like there's some settling right here. I also, though, um, opened this up and I realized that it's just a twist off, you know, super simple, super easy. I think you can also see like there's, that's obviously where most of the product is. Um, and you can see inside of it. I don't think I want to mark it just yet because I think even if I mark it, like obviously there's still so much product up in, up in here that I can use and that's not going to you're not going to really be able to see it once it like gets down to nothing. Um, there's still going to be stuff like if, even if it gets down here, there's still going to be product up in here that I can use. So yeah, we're going through it, but I think I'm just about here in terms of it being completely full. I have used it a handful of times, um, a lot more than any other time, like on my arms and legs, whenever I'm going out, uh, with wearing like short, sleeves or short <laughs> pants you mean shorts yeah wearing that um so because it's summertime but I think as once we get out of summer it's going to be really hard to use this up it's going to take a long time because I am using just a teeny tiny like less than a pea size amount for my um highlighter other than whenever I'm using it like on my body so yeah I'm loving it though it's beautiful when I first heard that people use like liquid highlighter like all over their body I was like oh why like isn't that so like I feel like one that would be really expensive <laughs> to like buy liquid highlighter to like use it up like that this I got in a boxy charm and I use it so sparingly like right here because and I use it under my foundation because it's just a smidge too dark for me so actually this works really really well in that way um so anyways whenever I use it all over my body I really like it actually is like gorgeous I'm like oh this is why now I understand. Um, but yeah, and I like it as a highlight too. It's just a little smidge too dark. So that's that. That's what we're doing. Anyways, that's everything. We have 43 products down, seven more to go before I buy my fun thing, whatever it may be. As far as using things up, let's see. What do I predict for next month? So for next month, I think that possibly this will be all gone in here and whatever will be left is what's left in here which there is I didn't repress the whole thing because I didn't know how it was going to go so there is still some product in here that I think I'll try to use more than likely just use how I was normally using it and not because I don't think there's enough just to like press back in there anywho so I think that we'll have progress there visible progress so that'll be fun I think that's really going to be the most exciting progress that will have happened. I don't see myself, I mean, hopefully, you know, this pan will definitely grow. Um, there'll be more, I think more spots as well. But other than that, it'll just be slow progress. 
which is fine. It's good. That's just where we're at with our project right now. But I don't think anything new um, and revolutionary is going to happen next month. Again, fine with it though, because I'm loving all these products and I'm not necessarily in a hurry. I'm not itching to like buy anything new um, to finish up. Obviously, I want um, progress to be shown and like an exciting update because it's just fun. But I think we're going to be we're going to be sitting where we're at for a little bit, just like coasting. We're going to be coasting for a little bit. Anyways, that's it. Um, in terms of my no buy, I've been pretty busy with life in general. So I'm just not even, I mean, I'm at this point where it's like, again, I'm not really interested in new things. Um, there are things that I, I think I see, like I still watch like not, I mean, Beauty News kind of is changing their way up, but I started watching Angelica. I don't, I can't remember how to say her last name, but she, everyone knows her. <laughs> everyone knows her. She's huge. Everyone loves her. But anyway, she does like the weekly product report or anti haul or whatever new products that she's going to talk about. I've been watching it. It's been really fun. We have different makeup styles for sure because she does bright bold looks and I'm, I don't do that <laughs> that's on me but um it's fun to like listen to people talk about the new makeup releases and everything um but I I feel like I'm really in a healthy place right now because I mean it'll come and go like maybe there'll be a day or two where I'm like oh I wish I could buy that like but at the same time it comes it comes and then it goes you know <laughs> like I know that I don't want that new thing in in the grand scheme of things because I see my collection I love the collection I have now and I know if I want to use everything that I have bringing in something new is just gonna put me further away from being able to use everything that I have I'm I'm feeling good right now with everything <sighs> yeah I'm feeling good I hope you all are too let me know how you guys you all are with your project pans and your no buys um, or low buys let me know if there's something that you're struggling with put it in the comments that way maybe we can all help each other maybe someone else will have a better you know explanation or um tip than i do because y'all are smarter than me for sure <laughs> um but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful wonderful day and yep have a good day bye